नेम इज माधव दुसाद वेलकम टू ज्ञान चला मस्ती आज मैं आप सबके लिए लाया हूँ एक बहुत ही करंट टॉपिक जो है बर्ड फ्लू तो आज हम बात करेंगे कि ये इतना न्यूज में क्यों है और ये कैसे स्प्रेड होता है और भी हम कुछ बातें करेंगे इसके बारे में तो आइए शुरू करते हैं और मैं ऐसी एजुकेशनल वीडियोस लाता रहता हूँ तो अगर आपने मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं करा है तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए तो आइए शुरू करते हैं तो अब बात करते हैं कि इतने न्यूज में क्यों है थाउजेंड ऑफ बर्ड डाइड इन केरला मोस्टली पोल्ट्री हिमाचल प्रदेश वाइल्ड गीस माइग्रेटरी बर्ड एंड राजस्थान एंड मध्य प्रदेश क्रोज सिंस द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द आउटब्रेक इन डिसम्बर एंड सो देर वॉज बर्ड फ्लू इन डिसम्बर एंड एंड सो मेनी बर्ड है लाइक इन केरला मोस्टली पोल्ट्री इन हिमाचल प्रदेश वाइल्ड गीस एंड माइग्रेटरी बर्ड्स एंड इन राजस्थान मोस्टली क्रोज एंड पिकॉक्स ऑल्सो Around 4 lakh chickens have died in Haryana's Panchkula district over the past 20 days. So you can see this bird flu is so deadly. Karnataka and Tamil Nadu are also vigilant after 12,000 ducks died in the last few days in Kerala. So you can see so many birds are dying. So that's why we are talking about this because this is a very deadly flu for birds. So there is a specific strain of bird flu which is H5N8. Usually in the past, like in 2006-2016, there was H5N1 avian influenza virus, which is also called bird flu virus. So there was H5N1, but this time a new strain is there, which is H5N1. And when they saw that so many birds are dying, dying, so the samples were taken and the samples were tested by national institute of high security animal diseases bhopal under icar so they tested the samples and they found out that there was bird flu in the birds and the strain name was h5n8 avian influenza virus so you can see the current outbreak is caused by the h5n8 strain though there are other strains like Uh, H5N1, which is very deadly, uh, circula- circulating globally. A series of outbreaks have been reported in Europe in the past week, with wild birds suspected to be spreading the disease. You can see the bird flu is not only in India; in other countries also there is bird flu. So, what are the epicenters in India? Because uh, uh, not in all states. Uh, bird flu is there so there are few epicenters like rajasthan madhya pradesh kerala and himachal pradesh so in uh, those region also there are 12 disease epicenters where many birds have died like baran kota jhalawar regions in rajasthan mansur indor malwa areas in madhya pradesh kangra in himachal pradesh and kerala's kottayam and alappuzha district uh, which are four epicenters in them so these are the epicenters so now we will talk about uh, what is bird flu so it is a highly contagious viral disease caused by influenza type a h5n1 n1 which generally affects poultry birds such as chickens and turkeys so here we are talking about h5n1 It, because it is a very deadly virus of the bird flu there are many strains of the virus some of them are mild and may mainly cause a low egg production or other mild symptoms among chickens while others are severe and lethal so let us talk about how it is spreading from water birds many of whom migrate and travel long distances the virus is thus further spread to poultry and terrestrial birds so you can see the birds who migrate which have already the virus in them they carry it uh, with them and they transport it to other places like if they are going from uh, rajasthan to any other another state like arunachal pradesh so then also it will start spreading so how, this is how it is spreading and sometimes 
This bird flu can happen to mammals such as pigs, horses, cats and dogs. And it can also happen to humans. We will talk about them in further slides. So, here it is come. Infecting, infecting humans. Bird flu outbreaks have been affecting poultry around the globe for decades. And this is not a new thing. It has been for decades. And culling of infected birds has been a common measure to contain the spread. And culling of infected birds is that they kill the birds. So that uh, the birds which have the virus, they cannot spread it to other birds. So, but in 1997, when humans are first known to have contracted bird flu, following an outbreak in a live bird market of Hong Kong, it was the H5N1 strain of the virus and 6 out of 18 people infected humans died of the disease. So you can see how lethal it is to humans also. So uh, does it easily spread to humans? No, it does not. Generally, people coming in close contact with infected alive or dead birds have contracted the H5N1 bird flu. And it does not usually spread from person to person as per the WHO. So, it is somewhat like coronavirus for birds but not for humans because uh, no cases there that when person to person virus transfer was there. So, it does not transfer from person to person usually. It can happen if the virus mutates. We will talk about that. So, usually uh, birds to bird transfer is there. So, why is the scare? Here the comes. If the virus mutates and becomes easily transmissible from person to person, like you can say by altering its shape, it is mutating. Like uh, it is altering its shape to grab human cells much more effectively. So, it can uh, also uh, kill us because if it is mutating, and it is grabbing our human cells much more effectively. So it is hard to get rid of this disease. So this is the scare that if it mutates, so it is very lethal for us. And it can potentially cause the pandemic. So that is why there is scare. So you can see this picture. Human infections with word flu virus is rare but possible. So you can see touching virus and then touching the eyes, nose or mouth. And virus is present in the infected bird's droppings. And a healthy looking bird also can cause bird flu virus. So I would not recommend uh, to go close to any bird. Like uh, mostly poultry birds. So like direct contact. Uh, you know that you will carry virus from hands to mouth. And you should uh, wash hands thoroughly after touching these. And uh, uh, bird flu virus also travels through the air like if the bird is flapping the wing so it will travel uh, through the air and it will enter through your eyes, nose or mouth. Somewhat like coronavirus only. And if the bird is scratching or if you are scratching head also of it and if it is only scratching its head and shaking its head. So... Uh, then also virus can enter your eyes, nose or mouth. So you can uh, uh, avoid contact with these things. With the poultry birds and other birds also. So if you like my video, please like it and share it with everyone. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. Bye.